Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. It was a record setter. Air Venture 2019 by the numbers. Southwest Airlines launches a pilot pathways program. And Jessica Cox will take delivery of her first airplane. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. We have a lot of news to cover today after our week-long break, so let's jump right in. Despite a soggy opening, around 642,000 attended this year's EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, an increase of 6.8% above 2018. More than 10,000 aircraft arrived at Whitman Regional Airport and other airports in East Central Wisconsin. At Whitman alone, there were 16,807 aircraft operations in the 11-day period, averaging around 127 takeoffs and landings per hour. There were a total of 2,758 airplanes, including 1,057 home-built aircraft, 939 vintage airplanes, 400 warbirds, 188 ultralights and light sport aircraft, 105 seaplanes and 62 aerobatic aircraft, and seven in other categories. Jack Pelton, boss of the EAA, stated, What I'm most proud of this year is how our volunteers, staff, and the community joined to overcome the challenges resulting from the massive storms that hit the airport and campground just prior to opening day. It took a true team effort to meet the additional demands on time and resources to provide services to our members and visitors. One of the most memorable experiences for my first Oshkosh, and one I will remember for the rest of my life, is getting the opportunity to ride in the cockpit with Philip 66 Aerostar Paul Hornick. It's a ride I've only been able to describe to my friends and family as absolutely amazing, exhilarating, and oddly like a much smoother roller coaster ride. I'll never forget looking at the ground while I was upside down in an extra 300L airplane. I'd like to say thank you to Paul and all the other members of the Philip 66 team for giving me the ride of a lifetime. It's something I hope I can do again in the future. Stick around, we'll be right back with Around the Patch after these messages. Finally, a modern, affordable four-seater without compromise. Turbocharged Rotex 915IS power, 155 knot cruise, 800 nautical mile range, 1,000 feet per minute climb, and all that at 8 gallons per hour. Don't compromise. Check out the Sling TSI today at AirplaneFactory.com. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. With all this news coming out of the aviation industry, let's take a quick trip around the patch. Final preparations are being made for the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team's biggest ever tour to North America. Fans in Halifax, Ottawa Gatineau, Toronto, Niagara Falls, Vancouver, and Victoria will have a unique opportunity to see the Red Arrows take flight during the team's 11-week deployment. The first event of the tour will be a fly pass over the historic Halifax waterfront on Sunday, August 11th. Duncan Aviation's David Mall has earned the Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award from the FAA. The award is the most prestigious award the FAA issues to pilots certified under Title 14 of the Code of Regulations Part 61. From flying some of the most complex corporate business jets to doing aerobatics in the pits, Mall says in his 51 years of flying, he has experienced the best career ever imagined. Honda Aircraft Company celebrated its most recent expansion in a groundbreaking ceremony several days ago. Expected to be completed by July of 2020, the latest expansion is a $15.5 million investment in an 83,000 square foot facility on Honda Aircraft's 133 plus acre campus in Greensboro, North Carolina. This will bring the company's total capital investment in its North Carolina facilities to more than $245 million. 
The Department of Homeland Security has issued an alert warning some modern flight systems installed in small airplanes can be vulnerable to cyber attacks. According to the report, an attacker with physical access to the aircraft can attach a device to an avionics controller area network bus that could be used to inject false data, resulting in incorrect reading in avionic equipment. According to the DHS, this alert does not apply to older aircraft still using mechanical instruments. The rest of Airborne Unlimited is coming up right after these messages. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Southwest Airlines launched an innovative career program called Destination 225 Degrees, which provides pathways to becoming a qualified candidate for future Southwest First officers. With demand for qualified and professional pilots projected to increase in the coming years, Destination 225 Degrees seeks to meet future high potential aviators at their current experience level and provide pathways to assist them with becoming highly skilled and qualified for future opportunities at Southwest. Participants who apply, interview, and are selected for the Destination 225 Degree program will receive a Southwest mentor during their years of training, be invited to Southwest for training activities and events, and have the opportunity to apply for selection as a Southwest First Officer. Participants will go through comprehensive training and a continuous evaluation process intended to enable them to meet Southwest hiring qualifications. There is no cost to apply to the program, however, candidates advancing through a training program and the selection process will be responsible for all costs incurred. The program is named after the Southwest Directional Heading on a Compass, since the 225 degree program leads aspiring pilots to Southwest Airlines. Back on Mother's Day in 2008, Jessica Cox, who was born without arms, sold an airplane for the first time. Five months after she earned her light sport pilot certificate. And on this upcoming Saturday, August 10th, Jessica will receive the keys to a vintage airplane she has won it for over a decade. The air coupe was built in the 1940s without rudder pedals to be safe and straightforward for flying. The simplicities of the control allow Jessica to fly. She says she puts one foot on the yoke and the other on the throttle. Earlier this year, Jessica joined an air coupe club at Ryan Air Field. Shortly after that, Jessica and the club members were devastated to learn the airplane they were using had developed an expensive structural issue, pretty much totaling the airplane. They found an air coupe for sale in Tahoe, Nevada, and the owner, who knew Jessica's story and her work with disabled children, donated the plane to Jessica. Jessica says she's dreamed of owning an airplane since she started and can't wait to fly it for the first time. And that's it for us today, everyone. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And for the latest aviation aerospace news, head on over to aero-news.net. I hope you had a wonderful start to your week, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow.